This year's Academy Awards are just days away, and two years after the Oscars So White controversy, diversity in Hollywood isn't necessarily better. A new study from UCLA looks at the degree to which minorities and women are present both in front of and behind the camera. This year's study took a comprehensive look at the 2015 to 2016 season, and it found that in the five years the study has been conducted, minorities have made gains and the number of times they're represented, but that number is still far smaller than that of their white counterparts. The report comes as Marvel's Black Panther continues to break box office records worldwide. It is the first superhero blockbuster with a majority black cast. Time contributor Jameel Smith wrote the February 19th cover story on Black Panther, and he joins me now from Los Angeles. Jameel, thanks so much for being with us. We should point out that this report does have a little bit of a lag. It only goes up to 2016, and a lot of good things have happened since then. But getting back to the report, there is progress, it says, but minorities remain underrepresented on every front. So what is your reaction to the findings? Well, I think it's uh, certainly symptomatic of what, what I've heard from a lot of producers in Hollywood since uh, my article was published. Uh, a lot of uh, African-American producers do believe that Black Panther could be a harbinger of things to come. Uh, certainly a good indication that Hollywood might finally understand that having a majority black cast, having a black director, and telling stories through a black lens can actually be profitable with all audiences, and that it's important to tell these stories. Um, so I think that you know what we see with uh, we, you know, with Dr. Hunt's uh, report here. I think it's really important that he titled it uh, in part "Missed Opportunities." Hollywood needs to understand that these stories are being you know, waiting to be told, and that they can actually be profitable. So right. it just remains to see whether or not Hollywood's going to understand that. And so, is Black Panther enough of a game changer? It's been hugely successful, as we've been talking about. So, do you think that this will lead to a bigger push for more diverse casts in Hollywood? I think it's going to, what it's going to lead to is Hollywood taking more chances. I think Hollywood is going to see other stories that are, you know, coming from uh, black writers, coming from black stars and, and other sources that uh, may have been otherwise ignored, and they're going to get a chance. I think certainly, um, you know, it's not just, of course, the success of Black Panther. It's, of course, the success of Moonlight last year, mm -hmm. and you have a series online that, you know, Luke Cage on Netflix. There are stories that are being told through a black perspective with a discernible um, uh, political bent right. and think that you know Hollywood may or may not shy away from it it just remains to be seen but if they're smart they'll get wise uh, but I, I think what's so interesting and so different about so many of these movies is that they are popular and financially successful not just with black audiences mm, right right and that's a key point you, the, often the, the the you know the myth has been that you know movies with black casts or about black subjects don't do well overseas. But first of all, they forget there's a lot of black people overseas, number <laughs> one. But also they, they forget that, uh, you know, maybe certain topics or certain stories don't work because the, the stories don't work, period. Uh, the Black Panther story works. It's an excellent film. It appeals to a number of different audiences. It has a lot of universal themes. Right. So it's really no surprise to see that it's made $765 million worldwide and is, you know, probably going to cross that billion mark over the weekend. But to me, let's let's... Uh, tease sort of the black part out of the diversity conversation and and look at some of the other groups you know Asian Americans Hispanics do you think mm -hmm. that they will be able to see the kind of um, progress that it seems that blacks are making in Hollywood well, one would hope. I I've certainly seen a number of uh, Asian uh, writers and, and, and Latino writers uh, express hope that you know the success of Black Panther may translate for, for them as well. Uh, I think certainly Hollywood is locked too much into stereotype, uh, locked into us, you know, quote unquote. Presentation is getting better, and then perhaps it's not necessarily the case. So, do you think the perception right. of diversity in Hollywood is skewed the same way people said, "Oh, you know, 
when we had a black president with President Obama, there's no more racism in this country. <laughs> Right. And that's the real danger is that people get satisfied with incremental progress. Uh, certainly, you know, you've seen it in the past. You've seen films, uh, you know, groundbreaking films with featuring women at the center, Aaron Brockovich, for instance, and that was, you know, what, 18 years ago. And yet you don't see the kind of progress on that front that you would expect. Uh, you don't see the kind of progress after, say, uh, Spike Lee's career or, or all of, you know, wonderful Denzel Washington star vehicles that, you know, that hasn't really translated into uh, the same kind of success for other black actors. Same goes for uh, actors of all colors. So one would hope that, you know, again, we get more decision makers of color, no more women uh, who are making these decisions. And so, that, you know, frankly, it doesn't become something that Hollywood has to think all that hard about. Right. And as you wrote in your cover story for Time, it isn't just about minorities being represented more times in film and TV, but that mm -hmm. the quality of the representation is important. You know, the quality over quantity argument. Can you expand on that? Yes. Uh, essentially, you know, if you're white in America, you not only see you know, yourself reflected on television every night and television dramas and sitcoms. You see infinite versions of yourself. You see all kinds of people doing all kinds of different things and, you know, and all kinds of different characters, heroes, villains, uh, garbage collectors, lawyers, executives. We don't see that for black America. We don't see that for Latino Americans. We don't see that for Asian Americans. Uh, the time is long past for Hollywood to get out of this mode of thinking that in order to sell a television product or in order to sell a film, you need to have a white lead. Uh, 